Okay, coming on back, we're going to start with our first example where we're going to solve um, secant theta if you know that cosine theta equals three-fourths. Well, first and foremost, let's go look at our reciprocal and quotient identities. Of course, as a backup, I could always go to my right triangle theorems, Pythagorean's identity, and of course, Soka Toa, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at my reciprocal identities because I know this isn't the, co the quotient identity, and I see that secant theta is actually equal to one divided by cosine of theta. Hey, that helps us. So if I know my reciprocal identity and I know this is cosine, I can literally plug that in. Anytime you're dividing a fraction, you're actually multiplying by the reciprocal of the denominator. So it ends up becoming simply four thirds. Some of you didn't need this full on solve. You just know if cosine and secant are reciprocals, you flip the, the value. Great. But this is the uh, dynamic solve. So like, let's say you're going by step by step and you needed this one more time. That's okay too. Either or peanut butter and jelly tells me you can solve it however you want. So what about something that looks more like this? If secant x is equal to five fourths and tangent x is equal to three fourths, then how do you find sine? Okay. But what if they had just given you, um, your sine value? Where's my pen? Whoa. What if they had just given you a tangent? What if they hadn't given you this and they had just given you tan and you were asked to find sine? Well, if you know one of the six uh, trigonometric functions, then you can always draw your triangle, right? So if this is opposite and this is adjacent, then this is three and this is four. And if they had given me cotan, then they would have given me four and three. If they had given me... Um, cosine, sine, secant, cosecant, all of those can be broken down into their Sokotoas or opposite values as well, right? Because if I know Sokotoa, then I also know that cosecant is hypotenuse over, uh, op hypotenuse over opposite, secant would be hypotenuse over adjacent, cotangent would be adjacent over uh, opposite. So just know that information, recall that information, and know that this can also be used with labeling and drawing your right triangle and solving from there. But in this case, I was given both, so I'm going to go ahead and use my identities to help me solve. So I know I've given secant, and I know I'm given tangent. So those are two different types of identities, but I'm going to use them together. So if secant x is equal to 1 over cosine, there's my reciprocal, and tangent is my quotient identity, boom, I can plug those in. So I'm going to focus on the tangent, the quotient identity, and I'm going to plug in cosine. And again, you're saying, hey, Miss Jag, you don't have cosine, but we have secant which is the flip. So you literally flip five and four and you don't, you have tangent, so you can just plug that in. So I went ahead and plugged it in. And again, notice I didn't plug in five fourths. I plugged in four fifths because they are reciprocals. Now, in order to remove that bottom value, I'm going to have to multiply by the reciprocal. So down here, sorry, not by the reciprocal, multiply by the denominator. So the most common mistake is that kids would do this. But you should really see this as 3 fourths is equal to sine x over y. How would you get rid of y? You would simply multiply by the y. You wouldn't multiply by 1 over y. So that's a visual representation of why I'm going to multiply by 4 fifths and not 5 fourths because this is the whole denominator. I want to remove the whole denominator. So I multiply by 4 fifths. That removes the whole denominator. On the left-hand side, I'm just going to multiply across. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 4 is 20. I can simplify that, right? Both are divisible by 3. Okay, so then I end up with three fifths. Ta-da! Now it's your opportunity to try, so make sure you're really attempting this question, and I'll see you in the next video.